Hi, I want to introduce you to this incredible concept that literally has the potential to create an impact. To begin with, I wanted to take you all to a car rental service provider to rent a car for a fun ride. So the moment we get into a car rental service provider for renting a car, the first thing they would be asking for is the driving license. But unfortunately and sadly, I missed out to carry it along in my wallet, so I, I couldn't get it. But I also carry a soft copy in my mobile phone where we call it a digital document. And then the moment I provide the soft copy to the rental, they started to doubt me if I'm faking, even if I'm not, they still couldn't be able to verify it just because I'm from another state coming here to another state for renting a car. So after a bit of process, they decided to give us a car and we are done with the ride. <laughs> and now let us inspect the entire process and look for the challenges from both the sides, right? Right from the first, from our view, the first thing is that I need to be carrying the hard copy, I mean the license card every time and if I lose it, it's gonna be hectic. And then the second one is that I need to be sharing the license card which also has my personal information like date of birth and the address which is not really needed. All the need is that I'm a licensed driver to ride a car, right? And from the rental perspective, they couldn't be able to verify my license if I'm faking and even if I'm not, they still couldn't be able to make it as I'm from another state asking for a rental in another state, right? And there would be many other problems coming ahead. And now how we could solve this and get this all fixed. There comes the SSI and the VC, the verifiable credentials. It is just another document with more powers, where it has cryptological encryption with a signature signed on it, which couldn't be breakable. Driving back to the same instance of the rental providers, let's suppose we had an authorized VC provider who provided us a QR code of the driving license, which has a complete control over what information to be shared in the attribute level. So when we have the authorized VC provider who shared as a QR code and we hold it and we asked service providers like rental to scan it and get the things done. In a part of you, there are three entities, the issuer, the holder, and the verifier. And you already know the issuer is the one who authorizes it to provide a VC upon a certain verification process of the documents. And then the holder is the one who holds it, who has a complete control over what to share. And the final, the verifier is the one who verifies upon a certain requirements, right? So this is the entire trust triangle, which helps the things happen in a way so secure and a much more control. And that's it. These are the visas, the verifiable credential. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.